An important tip to keep in mind before you send the deposit is to get a hold of the owner. Whether it be from a phone conversation, Skyping, or FaceTime, it's important that you have a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. If the cottage owner is not willing to give you a phone number or get into contact with you, you should be very wary. Always make sure you do research on the property before you send in the deposit. Take the cottage address and put it into Google and compare what you're seeing online to the photos that the cottage owner is using to market the property. You want to pick a cottage that has a rental history of at least a year and that actually has some user reviews that you can read. The rental agreement will set out the terms in black and white and will give you, the renter, any recourse should anything go wrong. Also remember, never pay the full price up front. You should only be doing a deposit. And if they ask you for the full amount, walk away. Protect yourself by paying by credit card. Sending cash to the mail is definitely not a good idea given the obvious reasons. Sending a check, using PayPal, or even an email money transfer does not give you the legal means to recoup your money should something go wrong. Your only guarantee is to use a credit card and then you can contest the charge. 